Hello everybody, it's Jose from Hernandez Fitness. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about the basics of a jab. Uh, here in Hernandez Fitness Wellness, uh, I focus a lot in, uh, in fitness, wellness, and self-defense. So it's only natural that I teach you all the basics step by step. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, first thing you gotta understand is what is your strong side? In, re in reality, it doesn't matter because once you get experience, you can switch from a right stance to a left stance. You can use a close guard, an open guard. You can use a multi guard. They can, you can use any sort of guard that you that you please. Or in this case, you feel comfortable with. No, that that won't be the case today. We're just gonna talk about the jab. So. A jab, once, let's assume that you're using a right hand on the back or a righty stance or a orthodox stance, right? So you're here, feet have to be shoulder width, you have to sit on it because you have to have some sort of re rebounding action, you cannot be stiff legged nor bend too much. So if you're looking on a, on a frontal angle, shoulder apart, Guard up, protecting your face, and you're slightly bent, so you got like that springing action. Okay, now we got that down. Let's go back to shoulder width, right? You even can go a little bit farther depending on your com comfortability. So here, a jab is the hand we have forward depending on the stance. If we switch stance to a southpaw, this will be my jab, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna do a right, you know, a right stance or an orthodox stance. So this is a jab, right? Now, mind you, it kind of looks a little dry if I just do this. In reality, if I stand in front of an opponent and I just do this, they'll probably just gonna rub it up and actually like knock you out. So in order to make us a, a jab sting, you gotta use your whole body into it so it has to be a synchronized movement between the body and the foot now it does not only it's not only just extending your feet in your hand and just shifting your weight you have to rotate as well there has to be some sort of like component of the rotation so it gives you that springing action so in a front of you this will be like a kind of a dry jab. You're rotating. Now, another thing you, mu you must look is when you're jabbing, you don't wanna overextend. You wanna keep, keep a little bent in order for you to give you that rebound action. You're there. Now, The jab, depending on how many times you practice it, you can use it as a setup for something bigger. You can actually use it as a stiff jab, which is actually you're causing damage to it. Or you just, just can use it as a fake, where you just sl slightly move it and then do something else. That's up to you. That's the beauty of martial arts. It shakes to you so you can be a better a better a better person a better fighter a better everything martial arts is just great that's plain and simple that's all for today remember we're just talking about the jab in my next videos i'll be talking about other techniques and other stuff it's just keep to keep it simple straightforward so you can understand remember jab is not just putting your hand on your opponent's face it's a combination of things Shifting weight, rotation, extension, retraction, the faster you pull it, the faster the, the fist will go. Um, practice it a lot, practice it a lot, because the jab is one underused weapon. That's all.